Want to make your photos look better or edit in 5 minutes with presets? You have come to the right video. Today I'm releasing my first preset pack, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Meeta here and welcome to this new video. I'm so excited, finally after such a long time I'm releasing my first Lightroom preset pack for computer and mobile phones. Download link is down below in the description box. I hope this will help you guys make your photos look better in just within 5 minutes. I was getting quite a lot of DMs or messages on Instagram and other platforms like which preset I use for my Instagram grid or when I'm going to release my preset pack. So the time has arrived, I have made 6 presets for you guys which will help you in photo editing. These are the 6 presets I made for you guys. Classic black and white, Coco, Green Crush, Rustic, Teal Vibe and the Vibrant Vibe. It can be a great starting point for you guys or maybe just one click edit. It totally depends on what type of picture you are applying my preset on. Just remember a one preset will not work on all pictures. It depends on how you took the shot and what colors are in that shot. You may have to fine tune the colors after applying the preset to give the final look you want. I use my presets as a starting point and later on do a couple of tweaks in hue, saturation, exposure, shadows, etc. If you are new to the preset world, no worries, that's totally fine. First, let me show you how to import the presets in Lightroom CC Classic in your desktop or your laptop computer. Then I'll show you how to import it in your mobile phones and use it with your free version of Lightroom. If you're not paying for the Adobe subscription, that's totally fine. It'll work perfectly in your mobile phones as well. Let's go. Here we are in Lightroom, I have imported some of the shots which we are going to edit using the presets but first let's see how to import presets in Lightroom desktop application. Um, it's pretty easy, you come up here in the corner in presets section, click on that plus icon, import presets, navigate to the file path where you have extracted your downloaded file. Once you extract, you'll get two folders, this is for mobile, another one is for desktop. So just double click on that and select all of these and hit import and voila it's there so let's go so that's how you have to import the presets in your lightroom classic cc it doesn't matter if you're using windows or mac computers it's the same process in both now it's time to set up the presets in your lightroom mobile app transfer all the files from your mobile folder in the preset pack to your phone just use any cloud service such as onedrive or google drive once that is done import all your files in your lightroom now let me show you how to import these presets in the free version of lightroom let's put lightroom up I have already imported all the six files in Lightroom, so let's open it and let's select this shot. Let's just wait for a few seconds to load. Come on. There you go, it's done. So yeah, at the bottom just swipe left, you'll see an option called presets. Just click on that and then you'll see the three dots in the corner, press those and the first option of course, create preset. I'll name this Coco, C-O-C-O-A. Oops. COA and after that just hit the check mark on the top right section and it's saved in the user presets. To access the user presets, tap on the color option and scroll down. You'll see user presets. If I go into there, there you go. Coco is there. And it's the same step for the rest of the five files. So yeah, it's that easy to load the presets in your mobile phone. Well, we have imported the presets. Now it's the fun time. I'll edit some of the shots with these presets. So let's go. Okay, it's fun time. Let's try out these presets. I took this shot during a Sony Alpha event. I'll give you guys a quick rundown what every preset looks like. The first one is of course as the name suggests classic black and white. The shot looks good after applying the preset in my opinion. If I just increase exposure a little bit more and it gives you like the classic vintage look. Um, the second one is Coco, which has like slight brown effect like the light lighter browns and slight teal color in it and if i increase the exposure slightly uh, more than a half of a stop yeah looks good the next one i created is green crush which actually crushes all the green if you wanted like muted greens in your photo this will be your go-to preset okay the next is rustic in rustic i've tried to give you like dark rusty kind of look dark vibes and you'll find most of the colors are muted it's just dark brown and the red colors prominent in it the next one is teal vibe this will give you of course the famous teal look 
and if you have like blue sky or something in blue it'll change it into your teal color the famous teal color and in the end it's the vibrant vibe it'll just pop up everything the saturation is a bit high and i increase the mid tones and the shadows are lifted so you'll get like a brighter vibrant picture okay for this picture i think i'll go with coco if i hit coco again and increase exposure a little bit more yeah there you go it's done so if you know which preset you're looking for it hardly takes a minute or two and your picture will be ready okay let's look at the second one this shot i took while i was visiting melbourne and um let's go through again how are the classic looks looks pretty good in my opinion and then coco as well there is somewhat brown in it i think i'll go with rustic yep and if i increase exposure a little bit there you go to make it more dramatic let's try vignetting as well on this picture and see how it's gonna look um here you go vignetting let's increase roundness and feathering as well and that's it if i go before and after there you go the picture is ready okay let's move to the third picture it's a portrait i took a while back let's check out with classic black and white how it's gonna look yep looks good coco looks good as well um green crush yep looks good rustic yep need somewhat more refining let's check out the other one teal vibe yep looks good on this one and vibrant vibe of course looks good as well okay let's see which one should i try on this one let's go with teal vibe let's increase the exposure a little bit yep and then i might bring up mid tones from the curve a bit more there you go and if i hit before and after there you go picture is ready let's check out the fourth one now okay it's a street shot again if i check it out with classic black and white oh yeah looks pretty damn good for me i'll just go with directly classic black and white i don't even have to check with others because of the sun at the background and the light and the sky looks pretty good dramatic and if i increase exposure a bit more and bring in more texture in it yeah looks perfect for me yep looks good as i said it like sometimes it's just one click and fine tune from the adjustment and that's it okay let's check out the fifth one i can see the shadows are a bit dark here i haven't tried vibrant vibe yet let's give it a shot with vibrant vibe oh yeah here you go it brings up everything if i go before and after it's done to be honest i don't think so i have to do anything else on this picture it was just one click um maybe i'll add a little bit clarity and that's it it's done it was like one click to be honest let's check out the sixth one as well okay in this shot we have some blues and greens i'll directly go with teal vibe we haven't tried teal vibe fully let's go on let's put a teal vibe oh looks good looks good have to adjust whites a little bit i'll bring down whites and we'll bring down highlights from the curve there you go and that's it maybe a little bit of exposure yep that's it that's the teal vibe so yeah these are the six presets as you guys saw most of the heavy work in the editing was done by the presets we didn't do much and we just have to find you like exposure or maybe highlight somewhat and that's it let's head back so that was it i hope you guys will enjoy these presets and start posting some banger shots feel free to tag me on instagram i would love to see your shots edited with these presets if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me don't forget to like and subscribe it'll help me a lot and i'll really appreciate it this is me tahir signing out until next time see ya